All right, we're back. Woo, look at this. We're touching. We're touching, but it's just elbows. He wants to do more touching, but I won't That's let right. him. Look how big that elbow is. Big as your face. Balcones. Echi Chetos. Echi Saddles. Echi Saddles. Echi Saddles. We're going to test it. It's a magician. Test it! Magic style. Fort finished. Bourbon or whiskey style? Ooh, maybe even American single malt style. There it is, single malt. Yeah. Sure. Ah. All right, I'm gonna slide that up. This? This. Mine. That's for you. I poured mine in this glass so I wouldn't crinkle and crank. So wouldn't crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. I made up a word, it doesn't work. Wanted to make sure your lips hadn't touched it. Yes, there are, uh-oh. All right, so this is Balcones uh, Distillery in Texas. Waco. Waco. They do some special editions. They had a sherry uh, finished one. I forget what the name of it was. This is the Echi Cerros. Echi Cerros. Port finished, which I've had a sample of a while back at Matt's house, mm. uh, Whiskey Crusaders sure, down in you, Dallas. You were at Matt's house. And actually, I sampled the port and the sherry, and the port to me came off better than the sherry. Like the so I'm looking for using like the word you're using. This is a strong one as well. I saw it 61 point something percent ABV. Christmas and Crestline was down in Texas, and he went to total, and I said, "Just go take a photo of the Balcones area, Balcones." And he took it, and I'm like, "Ooh, what's in that box?" And he said. I would like to point out this is the first time in eight or nine weeks we've been here on this set together. Yes, true. And I cleaned it for you. I'm getting ready. You did your whiskey collection. I'm getting ready to uh, film my whiskey collection. So you didn't I'd clean it for me. And I cleaned it for you. I was like, you know what? I need to I need to clean this surface. Yeah. It probably had been eight or nine weeks since this had been dusted <laughs> off, probably. Actually, I'd been filming board game stuff here, so I'd been clean, and ooh, I moved some games. Ooh. As soon as I said board games, you went, ooh, I thought, oh, he's converted. Yeah. He's converted. <laughs> no. All that lockdown time, you were gaming. Uh, the oh, port yeah. finishing, those uh, the fruits, the raspberries, yeah. jumped right out at me off of the nose. And first strong. Thing. What is the ABB? That, that caught me. Ooh, yeah, 61.5. Nice. Texas single malt, whiskey finished in pork cast. Yeah, you got to go in easy. And also says 10th anniversary. This is just so many fruits mm -hmm. and spices just yeah. jumping right out at you. Yeah, I'm See, I got a touch of apple, like sweet apple, like, oh, yeah. like Granny's apple, the green. Yeah, I would agree. And I'm keeping my nose away from it. You got yours in there, but man, I'm in there. I know. I, it I know. I open my mouth. Though. That's one of the tricks. Open your mouth a little bit. I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> uh, the apples are there, the fruits, the raspberries, strawberries, a little pineapple. Yeah, a little citrus hint yeah. to it. Boy, that is, I just get tons. I get a ten. little caramel apple. 10 out of 10 on the nose. Love that. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. I get a lot of fruitiness from most port finishes. I really mm -hmm. like the port finish. The tomatin port finish, 14 years, one of my favorites. Yeah. Boy, that is something, though. Yeah. Caramel green apple but you're right i got some touches of raspberry too oh boy that is a pleasant nose <clears throat> i took just the wee weeest smallest bit of dram into my mouth there Ooh, i took a lot but wow oh my the ooh, the port finish on that is beautiful there is a lot there for a texas single malt the color on this is in the palette. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's the that cask influence mm. is strong. There's a lot going on. In there, right? <clears throat> the oak hangs in tight, along with still that, like you said, that fruity character comes through all the way through. Um. In the finish, I still think it could be my imagination, but I feel like I get a touch of the sagebrush there. Just that Texas heat. But it's in the finish, and the finish is still fruit. It's, I haven't got it yet. Maybe just a very, very slight, slight hint of it. Right. A little hint of the barrel char, too. The, uh, the port cask 
finish on this, and you just cracked this baby. Mm -hmm. It hasn't even had time to really air mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but so the neck pour on this is gorgeous. Yeah. There is so much on the palate on this. Cinnamons, Ooh. caramels. Chocolate. Chocolates. A little got tobacco. Like a a semi-sweet chocolate. A little pipe, to, sweet pipe tobacco. The fruits, raspberries, blackberries. Wow. Yeah, definitely a blackberry with the with a dry, semi-sweet chocolate. That is nice. That is nice. Mm. So I'm gonna take that one home with me. Mm. Mm. You didn't say you didn't say no. Well. Mm, mm. I, bought, I bought that one. Mm. It is good. It is good. You try to do that with my boss. I know. I'm always stealing. I'm like, isn't this one mine? <laughs> You're like, nope. <laughs> nope. No, it is not. Woo. Well, I'll tell you what. This is one of those you can you can literally, you could smell just nose. Yeah. Uh, for an hour. Just sit down. Oh, by the oh, way, when I got go the coins back. out while they oh. were watching 443. Ooh, and 445. Four, four, I didn't four, got to five. do the coins for a while. See, we're out of practice. That is true. You're right. We're holding it and not doing anything with it. I put a drop, a hefty drop of water in here. Mm, it can take it. It's probably still 55 to 57%. Easily. Never chill filtered or colored. Mm-mm. Mm. Commemorative expression. Mm. And this is the... Uh, Wow. The 18-1 is the batch. God dang. I know. I know. They're doing beautiful stuff. Yeah. I'm thinking the Mirador. Okay. The Mirador, sorry. The um, drop of water brought out the sage. The mm. Texas heat, as I say. It's definitely there. Not Wasn't there as much neat, maybe a hint of it, with the water. Definitely Texas comes out. But beautiful so much on the palate on this so rich deep dark fruits dark, sweets dark sweet fruit yep with chocolate mm. and with this abv this baby will linger this because a little bit's going a long way here yeah well you just poured me a little bit that's kind of mm -hmm. like that's kind of a bark pour there <laughs> uh, what's going on with that but well, we've been social minutes. distancing. I figured we're going to do a few more today. Yeah. I didn't want to give you two ounces. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> two ounces of this. You're like, woo! It might have been call it call it a night. Yeah, that's it. We're filming one. <laughs> <laughs> we're out of practice in person. Out of practice in person. But yeah, so Christmas on Crestline. Just give them a shout out. Funny thing there too. So Christmas on Crestline goes in there. And now it's ruined local liquor stores for him. He mm. says he feels like they're all underwhelming now because they just mm. got a small section. Mm. And I'm like, I get it. It's hard to get out of there. With my purchases on top, I think he almost spent three grand. Guys at work were like, what the heck? And I'm like, no, that's easily doable. <laughs> yeah, I know. He, and his wife's name is Jean. And I think mm. he said they still have bottles that they're opening mm. from that trip even for them. Where mm. is my doodle buddy? Here? So you're pausing there. I don't know what your number is going to be. I'm putting out 90. And this is just the neck pour. I'm curious if this gets even richer as it goes. Mm. 93. I was debating 92, 93, maybe a 94, somewhere in there. I thought <laughs> since I have to put that much time into thinking about what <laughs> the score is, 93. Now I'll throw you a wild one because it's real hard to tell. But if you had to guess, I would guess... That this is two and a half years old, no. some kind of finishing. I think it, I, I would go older than that. I think probably four to five years. Yes, I, I don't really? know either. Yeah, I mean, it's see, got, I figured it maybe had a year in their regular, and then they put it in maybe a year and a half. It could be, you know. And then I mean, they threw it in a pork cast for another year. Is what I mean, I was thinking, you know, there, there's some twenty nine month old. Oh, it's so uh, hot there. Other other distilleries, uh, not to name any of them, but you know, twenty nine <laughs> months old whiskey is pretty darn good. There, it's not quite, it's not quite this rich though. Yeah, they're twenty nine months. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's probably two to three years. <laughs> Not to name of the Texas. Texas. If it's a double cask, or is it exclusive port? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It says. Does it say? Mm -hmm. Double casking. Whiskey oh, finished. finished in port yeah. cask. Down so, in Texas, that could literally be six months. I know. I know. That's the deal. I'm, I'm curious. Sure. So. Yeah. Probably a combination of oak. Golden Promise malted barley. Uh, I don't see it. Ex-bourbon cask before that, probably. Yep. 
Yeah. So delicious. Wonderful. 93. You see this? Pricier though. Get it? It is. I 110, forget. 120, 120 I want to say. is what I think. Yeah. 120. Cause Worth it. Well, I knew you picked up the one that was in the box, which I can't remember. You just said the name of it and I forgot already. You had one in a box that you brought over. And I remember we had it. It was good. And I saw a picture. I go, that, I think I've had it. I haven't had any. In. You're probably thinking of your Garrison. You had the Garrison brothers in the box. Their single cask. Could be. I, really I, think I haven't had any Balconies in the box. There was. There was. But I can't remember what it was. It's good. Good. I like it. This one's good. And we're on this one right now. And it tastes good. Let's do uh, some Patreons. Patreon shout out. Let's see here. Two dollar oh, supporter. Ooh. Ooh. Are you ready? Stephen Paul. Ooh. Shout Ooh. out to Stephen Paul. Stephen Paul. Stephen. Awesome. So again, anybody that wants to support, I know we'll do another one. You can go to patreon.com, look up Scotch Test Dummies. You can support for as little as a dollar, as much as ten thousand. <laughs> Just wanted to say something crazy. And sorry. a one dollar supporter. All right. Ooh. Scotch, Scotch buggy. buggy. Scotch, scotch buggy. buggy. There's scotch buggy. Scotch buggy? Yeah. Like a cart buggy? Yeah, maybe it's a being scotch. pulled by a horse when pulled it's got scotch horse, in it. Horse-drawn buggy? Or is it a Scottish horse? Scotch buggy. Thank you. Scotch buggy. Scotch buggy. <laughs> you said a lot. Almost a tongue twister. <laughs> yep. All right. And we'll right, save the other folks. Yep. yep. All right. Good. So. Well, it's nice to be here present with you. Yes. Another good, elbow. Good to be back. Boom. Ching, ching. Ching. Don't touch my ear. Scotch it, you Scotch guys. Launch it. Dummies. Dummies.